Hello there, I'm the Rampant Mystic and welcome back to Slay the Spire and today I think we have to do the Watcher, don't we? Ascension 17, normal enemies have more challenging movesets and abilities, so let us begin. Okay, uh, let's see this. Well, we can live with that. The Watcher actually has a decent damage output, so just with the starting deck. So with the extra energy, that's lonely. I don't actually see a decent path. <laughs> like there's double rust single lead or double rust double lead, but there's like nothing else. And I'm going to go for the single probably. I'm actually going to go for the early three question marks because you never know. So of course what I mean by that is eruption in because we drew through three defense there. We're guaranteed to yeah, get a couple of strikes here. Um, hmm, no, no, no. Not taking that damage. We should have lethal here. Uh, not exactly, no. We should have lethal next turn. Yep, there it is. Okay, good. We've taken no damage. I actually do want Perseverance. We do need some sort of defense because we're going to be picking up kind of a lot of aggressive cards. This could make or break the run. Please do not be the weakness. And it's the weakness. Great, great, great. Uh, the problem with this, it's not really that I'm going to be weak turn one. The problem is I actually can't pick up Clockwork Souvenir because it's just going to negate this instead of giving me a bigger advantage, which Clockwork Souvenir normally does. I'm sorry about that. So yeah, this is going to be interesting. Like very, very interesting. Let's see, I'm actually considering a restart, I'll be honest. It is very heavily considered. Okay, maybe I shouldn't have done that. Yeah, I shouldn't have done that. That's fine. Could have played it another way. Let's block for one. Uh, for Vigilance, for eight. Eh, this is enough. Okay. We still do have the extra energy, so I'm, you know, sort of, hello! That's actually fine. You know what? Let's go. I doubt I'll get a second pressure point, though, with Busted Crown. It's extremely dead. What is the boss fight? It's Slime King, isn't it? it? I'm pretty sure it's Slime King. No, it's Hex Ghost. Okay. Because I picked up pressure points, you know, I assumed that it was going to be Slime King. Alright, you have the most blocks, so... Of course I'm making it. Right, 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 right. Okay. Never fear. We will get another pressure point. I can feel it. I know it. Ah, uh, if I eruption here, can I block for 12? Yes, I can. Yes, I can. Come on, come on, you drop me another pressure point. Come on. Nope, it's Sash Whip. Okay, let's actually upgrade the pressure point here. We are going to use it, even if we go aggressive eruption. Should be sort of fine. Oh, come on! Uh, please be, I don't know. Uh, actually, I don't know what I want. Okay, you know what, ice cream's fine. Oh no, the run enders. If you have no AoE, this, especially with weakness, this will probably end you. I'm actually going to be permanently weak in here. Well, we have no AoE. At least, you know, I could have had the first round so that I can at least get rid of one of them, but no. And we have no AoE. I guess we do have this. <laughs> it's not going to do anything. Yep, play that. Okay, okay. This uh, could have gone a lot worse. For now, it's semi-decent. Uh, it's gonna deal 16, so I actually have enough to get rid of these two. The problem is, uh, Vigilance just passed, so I need to be relatively careful with what I do. Too bad that's only 11, but it, actually we are fully defended, so good. Mm, and yeah, fine. Absolutely fine, there it is. I mean, it's good with Eruption. It's not good with pressure point. The thing is, though, busted crown sort of, you know, sort of means that I can't really uh, be very picky with my cards. All right, duality, dualities. It's there. I mean, what else can I say about it? Like, it's it's not bad. It will give you like a, a bonus to deck, so I'm I'm kind of for it. Okay, who's gonna get pressure pointed? I guess it's gonna be you. And I'm gonna go. Actually, it should have been the middle one. Oh, well, that's fine. 
Not using Perseverance here or Orwin Most Strike, we're just waiting for the right turn, which is probably never gonna happen. I actually, I think I just saw the right turn. That is only 20 damage though. 22, which is not good. Well, got rid of one of them. Not the one I wanted to get rid of, but couldn't take 20 after Eruption, so. Actually, on a scale of 1 to dead, how did am I? I'll give you an answer. Ah, I should have played the strike first. That would have been 2 extra block. Very, very, very. Yeah, 3 HP. That's that's not enough. At this point, I might as well risk it, right? No. Actually, maybe, maybe. Maybe it was worth risk. Nope. Doesn't matter. Didn't matter in the end. Maybe I should have used the strength potion, but no. Oh well. Oh well. Let's go again! Ah, uh, yes, we're taking this. Come on, pressure points, come on. Come on. I, I, game, come on. Come on, game. I see double rest with... One very late elite or no elite, which is not gonna happen on the first floor. I actually want to elite. Alright, we do have, like, double elite here. Which I am very heavily considering. And the fight is the Hexaghost. The reason I'm considering it, it's problem is it's double rest. Relics are easiest to get on the first floor. At least, you know, that's sort of my opinion. Because, I mean, even if the elites are harder, I mean, you die, you reset, takes you like two to three minutes, five at most, you know. Uh, unlike on the third floor where you're risking it all for an extra relic, it's not worth it. I'd rather just get to the boss fight. And sometimes the boss fight is actually easier than the elite fight because you don't know what elite you're gonna get. You can't prepare for all of them. So you, so what I normally do is I just prepare for the boss and hope for the best. Which maybe is a wrong strategy, but oh well. I'm gonna go for the double one. You know what, let's go for the double one. Maybe I'll look out. Maybe I'll get a couple of really nice relics and not die. I'm, I'm considering it. It's actually a nice card this early on. Oh, hello, random shop. Oh, well, guess what I'm removing. Of course it's gonna be a strike. I was actually had... Oh, well, that's fine. <laughs> that's fine. Now, of course, signature move is a lot of damage, but it needs to be the only attack in your hand. This means that things like Sands of Time that retain and take a while to actually take effect is, uh... Uh, it's a little bit out there. I'll take an empty body. We're not going for pressure points, obviously, because, well, I mean, I don't know. We're just not. The game's not going to give them to us anyway. Okay, this is our last free fight, right? Yeah, it is. All right, all right sure. Crush points is not bad, actually, at all. I'm going to be semi-relying on this, but I need Eruption to be upgraded, so it's one cost, so that I can actually play it more reliably. Because Eruption Signature move is insanity. Actually, you know what? I'm probably going to get Signature move. Mm, yeah, I'm going to hope I do with just Eruption or actually nothing as well. Ah! Well, this is fine, actually. What am I talking about? This is absolutely fine. We have them all, don't we? So I need to use this so that this trick actually doesn't matter. In the end, it didn't matter. I was overthinking it. I mean, it's fine. I'm removing strikes anyway. You never know. If I pick up a second one, that's amazing. Uh, pressure point is a skill. Can I play everything here? No. No, I can't. Because signature move is too cost. That's fine. That's fine. You know, we're just gonna play this. That's fine. Hello. Absolutely. That is gonna be a decent amount of damage. Uh, that was worth it, I think. I mean, yeah, he's not vulnerable for this turn, but that's fine. I'll take the 8, and hopefully... Well, that was the easiest Gremlin knob fight I've had in a while. That's Akabeko, so that's lovely. Well, do I go rush down? I already picked up a pressure point. That doesn't mean I want to go for pressure points, though. For now, it's just there. It's just 11 damage for now. I guess I've never thought about pressure point as 
it's 11 damage. You know. Yeah, it's not an attack, but it is still 11 damage. I've never thought of it that way. I've always thought, thought of it like, you know, if I get one, I'm hoping to get like at least one. Oh, hello. It's Axe Ghost fight though, isn't it? Actually, that's fine. That, that's still fine. Pentagraph's too good to pass up, so. And actually, Crush Joints is probably better a better upgrade here. Yeah, signature move is 10 more damage, but I'm not guaranteed to play it. This is a huge risk just before the Elite fight. Come on. Come on. Nope. Maybe? Oh boy, this is bad. Oh no, horrible. Oh, this hurts. Oh no, that was all for a gambling chip. I'm dead. Actually, I might not be. Uh, no, I don't want to actually replace anything here. Uh, maybe Eruption? N oh no, Rushdown with Signature Move and Eruption is maybe not the best thing in the world. But that's fine, we still open up with 40 damage, so you know what? Can't complain too much. Problem is I can't even take a hit. Hmm. Yeah, I'm empty bodying here, but when? You know what? I have to rest cap, and I have to do as much damage as possible. I think that's the only way I'm gonna survive here. If I can... S nope, never mind. Time for a redo. Time for a redo. I j that, that scrap ooze. That scrap ooze. It just totally... Mm. I shouldn't have done it. I know it's a huge risk. Generally, I'll risk it because, again, it's on the first floor. Unless I have, like, an extremely good run, I've gotten, like, a bunch of cards that I really want. Yeah, but that's rare. I'm very tempted by the scrap ooze. Oh, come on, double rest only again? Well, there's several ways I can do this. I can do the double elite, or I can't do the double elite. I'm gonna go for here. No, for here, and I can decide whether I want to do double elite from here. Or if I want to just do single lead from here. Yeah, that's what we'll do. Alright, first three fights are going to be free. Okay, well, I know what I'm doing. Come on. Oh, you don't have a second pressure point? How disappointing. Actually, I just realized, these are not fights. If these are not, if, well, they're not guaranteed fights. So... What is the boss fight? Please tell me it's not Slime King. Oh, thank you. Slime King with pressure points is just horrible. Oh, none of them were fights! Oh, that is amazing. Well, I just lost most of my attacks, so might as well transform Eruption. I guess that's attacks? I mean, I can't complain too much about that. Oh, we have a free elite, so I could go for the double one, even though it's a little bit of risk. Come on, pressure point. Come on, come on, come on, come on. No. It is a little bit risky, I'll admit. I'm gonna go for the double. We have only one pressure point. I was actually expecting this fight anyway. No, what did I do? Uh, you know, that's fine. Oh no, we don't have enough attacks. What am I talking about? That's fine. That's not fine. We have, we have like one attack. Yeah, good thing Battle Him was played. Um, Trashka is actually really nice. Tantrum, Perseverance. Perseverance isn't bad for uh, a pressure point build, that is if we're doing a pressure point build, and I'm planning on doing it. We already removed a bunch of cards, so I am hoping, I am really hoping, this is actually a really bad battle for a pressure point fight, and I actually removed Eruption even though I have Battle Him, which was kind of the, kind of a very stupid thing to do. Extremely stupid thing to do. Well, what we have here... Hopefully, the Smites can carry us. I will use the Ancient Potion as soon as he decides to Skull Dash, which is not yet. Is this worth the extra damage he's gonna get? No, I think it's better if I just block for 8 here. Maybe it is, maybe it isn't. Oh, that's the Skull Dash, okay. Let's do it, because I do not wish to be weakened. Oh, uh, sorry, made vulnerable, not weakened. Oh, he's doing it again? That's fine, because he's gone. Okay, we survived both fights, that's that's lovely. Toy Ornithopter as well. Establishment is really good with Battle Him. I guess I could run Establishment, Battle Him, and then Pressure Points. It's... gonna be awkward, because I removed Eruption. <laughs> uh, but... But... Those are really good cards. Come on. Oddly Smooth Stone and Strawberry! Nice! 
And here we play Vigilance, Miracle, and yeah. yeah. We're good, we're good, we're good. Come on. Bring me a pressure point. Make my day. Give me two, in fact. I know you want to. Oh, that's actually going to make Perseverance for you as well. I forgot. Is it worth to take just so I can make Perseverance for you, though? If it's only Perseverance I'm talking about. I don't think so. I don't know. Definitely not. Uh, I guess Shimmering Fury is a good idea, but I don't need to draw the cards though, that's the thing. Well, actually, it does matter, uh, because let's say I have three smites, and I... Eh, the thing is though, I don't know what the enemy is doing the next turn. Well, I don't know some enemies. I'm not gonna do it. We're not gonna do it. We're not gonna do it. He's not gonna do it. He's not doing... It. I'm actually gonna go for the shop here. I mean, instead of the extra question mark, I could go for a card removal. How smart is that? Mm, probably not very. If I'm going to play this, this needs to be upgraded. Currently, we don't have a second pressure point, so yeah, I'm playing it. It's going to be our only form of attack. And the thing is, I actually don't need to play Establishment on turn one. Uh, this was maybe... a bad idea. I should have actually blocked for more. Don't need to play, uh, yeah, Establishment turn one because they'll all become free when I play it the next turn, so it's fine. You know, I don't have Eruption, so it, it doesn't really matter. Oh, hello. Actually, we have Lethal Nomi. Yep, there it is. Lovely. Cultist Potion is actually insane. Oh, I wish I drank one of these for 5 HP. Okay, that's fine. Have a pressure point and let me buy it. Nope. Or not. Or you could like remove three relics that I really like. Uh, that's fine. That's fine. That's fine. That's fine, game. Don't worry. I'll stop playing you one day. I'll forget about you. Oh, hello. That's a random chest. We got bronze skills, which is actually really good. And Sundial. Considering our deck is only 11 cards, technically 10 since one exhausts. Well, actually, technically less since we have two powers. And this actually retains, so. Our effective deck, by the way, is seven cards. If I remove two more, I'm basically going to get the same thing every single turn, which I guess is fine if you're running pressure point, but only one? Still no, no, no. I don't think so. All right, so we have a Hexaghost fight. I kind of don't need to rest and kind of don't want to rest. Should I upgrade this? No, I'm going to upgrade one of the defense. Like, Vigilance is good. If I have certain things, but I don't. Actually, you know what? I mean, ah, oh, should have used that next turn, but at the same time, I kind of want to start getting scaling because he's now going to do a three. Yeah, three by six instead of the two by six he was going to do. That's fine. No worries. Never fear. We can still block. And we have brown scales, which is actually going to be a decent amount of damage. Yeah. Not too shabby. Eh, well, I only need to defend once. I'm not playing the Smites yet. Um, I actually don't know why I don't have a way to enter Wrath, so... They're just taking up room, I guess. I might as well just play them. Enemy's not gonna just randomly become vulnerable, so... I mean, best case scenario is I'll hit for like two or three more. Nah. It's not worth it. Might as well just use them. And defend as much as possible, of course. I maybe should consider not doing pressure point. Just give up on the idea for this run and pick up something to enter wrath with these with this much smite. I think it might be worth it. And we are actually fully defended. Okay, we're fine. And next turn we have twenty damage smites. Lovely. Or, oh my god, this this deck wants to be so many things, and at the end, it'll be absolutely nothing. Alright, let's go. Oh, hello, absolutely. Actually, no, I need something more of a Philosopher's stony like Oh, Sleaf Color is so good, though. The problem is... Energy. I need constant energy for Alpha. 
Well, actually, I need it for beta mostly. Omega, once you play it, most things will just fall down, but... I could risk it. I'm gonna risk it. Actually, no. Risking it would have been with the Philosopher's Stone, I think. No, I still think the constant energy would have helped me more than it would have been a detriment. Right, I do see Triple Rest with a shop with one Elite. That's actually lovely, and... Actually, early and late shop. Well, this means two card removals. That's lovely. Alright, now if I recall correctly, Alpha needs to, well Alpha does need to be upgraded, so it can be played round one. Then beta gets shuffled in. How many cards do we actually need in the deck? So first draw is five cards. Second draw needs to be four. So I'm going to need a deck of nine cards. That is so that I can absolutely guarantee to have Omega on turn three. So I need a nine card deck. Because turn one we draw five cards with alpha. Turn two we'll have to we'll only have four cards left. And thus when I play alpha, beta will be added as the fifth card and we'll draw it. We will not reshuffle our discard pile because we drew exact amount. That means that Omega is gonna be in the third hand, guaranteed. So I need to start removing things. Okay, let's go this way, I guess. Okay, early and late shop. I'll hope for a double card removal, but I doubt it. I kind of do. Gotta play this. Heck, I don't think Omega's gonna be out in time. Considering I didn't get it on turn one. Well, there it is. I'll, I'll play it. Sure, I'll play it. I can't defend. Are you kidding me? Yeah. I'll play this, and I'll play that, and I'm taking 20 plus. That's, that's not gonna help me too much. There's beta. I can defend for a little bit for that. Actually, this is fine. This is absolutely fine. Because... Yep. There she be. There's Omega. Omega's guaranteed to kill, but, I mean, the enemy's not doing anything anyway, so. Blessing of the Forge, and second Perseverance is too much. At this point, I actually just want a card move. I don't have 125 gold. Great. The game hates me. Two pressure points should be enough. It's Bronze Automaton. I might as well go, go for Alpha, Beta, Omega. Unless, of course, one of those uh, tiny little things decides to steal Alpha, Beta, or Omega. And in that case... Yeah. That case is gonna be nice. It's gonna be fun. It, I, I think it has happened to me before, hasn't it? I'm pretty sure it has. I have a feeling like it has. Well, I need to save gold for a card removal, so we're not doing anything here. I guess I could get 5 HP in one of these. Ooh, Bottled Miracle actually is not bad. It will help me play Omega in certain situations where it is absolutely necessary to be played. Uh, well, I'm, I'm, I'm playing this here, that's for sure. Actually, I should have upgraded all those defense. Oh, well, that's fine. There's Alpha, and we are... I guess we're playing Vigilance, aren't we? I could have gone for pressure points here instead of Alpha, Beta, Omega, but whatever. It's too late now. There's Beta. Oh, Sundial! Lovely. Gotta play it. Uh, gotta play it. It was a nice idea to play it. Okay, I'm gonna use this so I don't take as much damage. These are now free, but... Come on, Omega. Come on. Thank you. That's 50 damage. So if I can just do enough, and that is enough. I need to upgrade here, and I won't be able to because I'm gonna have no HP. Actually, if I have any HP, it'd be a miracle. Come on! Are these... Kinda wanted to use this. I was gonna point that out. You know what? Because of the 5 HP, mostly. Eh, I don't know what this is gonna do. Nothing. I don't have Clockwork... Oh, hello! Forgot about that. I don't have Clockwork Souvenir or anything, so... We're gonna be frail for a long, long time. There's Alpha. Yep. Mm-hmm.
Yep, yep, yep. I, I don't know what I was considering there. I mean, I was trying to think up of a better plan of survival, but no. Can I burst any one of you down? Maybe. Maybe if I get really, really, really lucky. There it is. No math, no problem. I kind of need to play this now. Oh, we're never getting through that. Through that block. Oh, come on! I can't actually use it. Because if I use it, unless I want to use Bottled Miracle. Actually, how alive am I? Uh, I am alive if I play both of these. Sure, sure. We're not playing beta. That That's that's a bad... No, oh, never mind. Did I get the math wrong? Oh, no, I had 12 HP. That's exactly... Oh, I thought it was doing... 10 by 2. Alright, well, you know what? Let's try one more. Kind of in a mood for one more. Yeah, let's exchange this. Kind of not in a mood for one more anymore. I'll be honest. Well, we can't go for eruption, that's for sure, because it'll just kill us. Actually, that kills us anyway, so I guess we can go for it. Come on, what's with the bad pathing? We have one elite with two rests, or we have... A super elite and an elite and a third elite if I really want to. Oh, great. Now, if the thing is, if I want to go for double elite, it has to be a super elite because I don't have a choice. It's in the middle here. So I guess I'm going for one. Which is kind of bad. I just got an energy roll. You know what? We're going for the super elite. I don't care. Am I going for the early shop? No. Let's go for the question marks. Oh, my God. What attack? Are you kidding Right. This is all fine. This is all fine. Philosopher's Stone has not ended a single run. For anybody. Ever. It has never happened. And it shall never happen. Okay, let's see. Let's see what we get. I don't want Car Reality. I really don't. I really, no. Just give me Battle Him. Don't give me Car Reality. Crescendo, no, no, no. Remove a card? Do I want to remove a card? It's too late now, I already clicked it. Whether I want to or not, it's too late. I hope I wanted to remove a card. <laughs> <sighs> okay, this is gonna be good. I'm gonna take a bunch of damage, but that's fine. That's fine, I just want to end this fight as quickly as possible before it starts hurting a lot more than it should. Swift Potion and a Fear No Evil? Yeah, sure, that might actually help. Oh, goodbye. Yeah, I guess I could card remove here, which I kind of don't want to do. I already removed one card. Currently I'm fine, considering I haven't picked up anything. Ah, Jaw Worm. We meet again. For the tenth time today, we meet again. Enemy is not attacking, so I can freely use this. I need I need to actually constantly remind myself that that is, uh, it. You enter calm if the enemy's attacking. Not if you use the card. It's not empty body or empty yeah, or empty uh, fist. Empty fist. That's the one. Kind of want to upgrade the AOE, but I think this is more valuable. I actually have the extra energy. Should have upgraded the AOE. Oh wait a minute. There's a triple rest here. I'm an idiot. That's fine. We're going to go for the triple rest and a super elite and again an elite because the super elite is in the middle and there's an extra elite over here. I guess if we survive the elite, I'm going to go for, you know. Aha! That's actually a really good split. I should have upgraded the AoE, but whatever, it's fine. That's not good. That is not good at all. One HP. Eh, kind of don't want to enter calm. Kind of don't. Okay, currently we're breezing through these, but that's only because we have extra energy. Just wait until we get on the second floor and meet a bird. Probably Crush Joints should have been next, but actually Crush Joints can be next. I'm gonna go for this one. Please be a random shop, so I don't actually have to rest as often. I mean, I already had one random shop, right? Or was it two? No, it was just the one. Random shop? Nope. Nah, like, actually this relic's kind of good. I do like it. A lot. Crush joints first or eruption first? No, eruption first. 
Option, defend, into... That's straight up lethal, okay. Oh my... I mean... Let's actually use this. Maybe... Oh, this costs something though, isn't it? It does... Yeah, this is gonna cost something. Oh, well. It's too late now. I should have picked up a defensive option. Whatever, it's fine. Yeah, it's, it's absolutely fine. Conclude here just does way too much damage. I will take the protect here. Come on. Sentinel, never mind. Max HP plus 20. Well, let's wake it up. Right? Crush joints into conclude. And I'm actually going to try and go as much all in as I can this turn, which is actually fine because we have fear no evil. That is so much damage, and it reduces when we go back to it doing normal damage to us, so kind of happy about that. I think I defend here, right? Yeah, I just straight up defend here because next turn I should have this in the bag. Absolutely. Letter Opener, Emerald Key, Fear Potion, and Rush Down. Well, I can play it. I do have the extra energy for it, but I think I'd rather have Rush Down, believe it or not. Oh, we're not going for the Elite. I have 19 HP left. Remove, Upgrade, or Transform. I think it has to be an upgrade. We've removed a decent amount of cards. Actually, we've upgraded a decent amount of cards as well. This becomes zero cost, which I kind of do want. At the same time, this needs an upgrade and this needs an upgrade. We're gonna go for Rush Down. Uh, I'm not gonna go for the Elite. Not gonna be that greedy. I want 19 HP with a Fellow Stone. I don't know what this fight's gonna be. Let's risk it. This is the last run I'm doing anyway, so. It's kind of a bad fight. I'll be the first to admit. It's kind of a really bad fight. I am really hopeful that I somehow managed to play Rush Down and. Nope, nope. You know what? We're playing Rush Down. I don't care. No, we're not playing Rush Down. Okay. That's fine. I do have to use a skill here, though. Which I guess is fine, because that's lethal anyway. Oh, no, wait, he's, he was vulnerable anyway. That's fine. We still managed to do it. Only cost us two potions and some dignity. I mean, Wish is very powerful. Like, very powerful. Because the strength is... Uh, the strength is really good, but I'm not entirely sure if I'll be able to play it. Boss fight was Hexagos, so we're actually fine on HP. <laughs> Maybe. Maybe we're fine on HP. Maybe we're not. <laughs> Depends on what turn I enter eruption. Uh, I mean, I'm not guaranteed vigilance next turn, but I do have fear no evil, so I'm sort of hopeful. I'm gonna be very helpful here. Wish I had a swift potion here. Oh well. Could have drawn a bunch of cards without extra flex. Well, I got Vigilance, believe it or not. Problem is, I can't use Conclude here. But at least I'm alive, you know, I'm not gonna complain. At least I'm alive. I really, really, really want- actually, I can use this. Three Strength, of course, we're going all out, all aggressive, all the time. Well, most of the time. Which I'm not entirely sure how useful that is. Mm, not very in a situation like this. Where I have to triple defend, because if I Eruption, I'm gone. Speaking of which, Eruption is my only way of entering Wrath. Come on, come on, come on, come on, come on, thank you. Can actually activate Crush Joints, which is nice. We have Rush Down as well. That is so much damage. That is lethal. Believe it or not, we actually did it. I actually don't want Alpha. We're gonna go full-on Wrath mode. I do want Establishment though, because Battle Trance is a thing that I want to pick up. Empty Cage is... I guess, maybe Black Star, but I'm actually gonna pick up Slave Caller. The extra energy is gonna make Wish more playable, at least, you know, during Elite fights and boss fights, so that's lovely. I do see triple... Quadruple Rest with one Elite? Okay, wow. You throwing me a bone? Can't believe it. We have an early shot, which I will take. Actually, definitely taking that. Three question marks as well. Absolutely. That is the path, right? Yeah, that is the path. Uh, yeah, that's the path. Just one elite. Okay, I thought it was two, but no. 
Now, I mean, I'm sort of fine with eruptioning here because we have fear no evil anyway. Too bad. Couldn't play Wish. But I was always going to end up taking up a bunch of HP here. Losing a bunch of HP here. And even more to be lost as well. Hmm. Aha, your joints. They have been slightly smushed. Oh, this is annoying. This is actually really annoying because he's going to leave because I didn't get eruption there. I need a second way of entering wrath. I really do. Power potion. And I have AoE, so I don't care about you. I don't care about cut through fate as well. I'm not going to bother with it today. Yes, absolutely do this. Thank you. That's actually a lot of upgrades that. No, I want, I want the almost sure thing and I win. And there's a shop for a little bit of healing. Absolutely. I actually want anchor, don't I? I actually want anchor and centennial puzzle here. Where's my next shop? Let's see. So we're going down the middle ish. We have a bunch of question marks, but no guaranteed shops. So. So that. Yeah, just. Oh, fasting actually isn't bad, considering I have so much energy. But at the same time, I already picked up Wish, so we're, we're good. I actually could go for this. No, that weighs uh, one less rest. Okay, well, it's as much as we're going to do for now, but... But we just played a rushdown. Mostly doing that to remove artifacting, even though I think it's not going to matter that much. I think this is going to work. Because I get, yeah, two energy. That is actually, yeah, that is enough damage. For a second there, I like blanked out and I was like, hmm, maybe, maybe not. Maybe, maybe not. Maybe, maybe not. And I was like, yeah, let's do it. I have to rest here because elite fight coming up and I kind of don't want to end this run. All right. This is why I picked up anchor for fights like this. Why, why did I do that? Didn't need to play that. This is actually way more important than anything else. And believe it or not, the crushed joints just got out, so conclude actually conclude was already guaranteed to get rid of you. No conclude? Wow, okay. Have it your way then. I have vigilance here, right? No, no, I don't. Well, whatever. Did I pick up Crescendo? I picked up Crescendo, right? I did, good. It is gonna be my second way of entering Wrath. For now. I'm weak. Of course I'm weak. Actually, you know what? Forget about your weakness. My mouse is broken. That was not supposed to let go. Okay, that's 16, so I'm actually good. There it is. Just made sure there that I don't take too, too much damage. Actually, he's gone. Crush joints is 19, yeah. There it is. Toy Ornithopter. Again, nice. I might want a second Protect here. Or Empty Mind. Ah, no, not Empty Mind. Of all the things, not Empty Mind. Of all the emptiness, not the mind. 31 HP, I'm gonna rest here again, just in case, because we have a bunch of question marks and I don't know what they hold, so... Meat on the bone, apparently. Nice. And here we're gonna actually start upgrading. A wish is one of those things that now I'm more likely to play because I'll have five energy during late fights. Hello, random shop for a full heal. Uh, well, what am I going to remove if I do choose to remove something? Mm, no, 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 not really. I would have taken this though or this. There. Huh. Am I just realizing that he sounds a little bit like a Minecraft villager? That's fine. Crescendo is a good upgrade. I think Establishment is a better upgrade because I am planning on picking a Battle Him if I ever do see it, but... Yeah, I'm not entirely sure if we'll ever see it. This would have been better left saved for later because it probably could have been 0 or 1 cost, but I have nothing else to play anyway, so might as well, right? Power Potion I'm saving for the boss fight. 
why do I have a two cost conclude? Now this is fine because I already played establishment, so it's just gonna become free eventually. I have a two cost eruption, and I two cost crush joints, which is not good. On the other hand, that is a decent amount of damage. Okay, I think I can do this, right? 13, that's gonna be 28 with vulnerability, so that is something. That is gonna be around 30 plus the strike. Yeah, we have enough damage, okay. I think. Could be horribly wrong. Well, we have a skill potion to use anyway, so that's fine. Let's use this to actually... Oh, right, I forgot to actually draw cards as well. Oops. Oh, well, that's fine. Yeah. Yeah, I might have actually over overdid it a little bit. I'm gonna take the fear potion over the skill one. Uh, maybe? I don't know. The thing is, this can be really good or it can be really bad. Just because you don't know what card you're gonna get. And you could get something really, really good. Or again. A shiv. Nah, you can't get a shiv. But... Oh, I have to use this here now. You can't actually get a shiv, but you could get something like Dagger Throw, for example. That I kind of don't need. Uh, do I use it now? Well, yeah. Dagger Spear, on the other hand. I'm not weakened, so that's going to be 16 damage. That's just going to be straight up 16 damage. Or... That's actually 16 AoE, though. Or I can go 24 to one target. What's the boss fight? Boss fight is Bronze Automaton, so this is not going to be that useful. Eh, it might be eventually, but no, I'd rather use the potion there. So what I'm going to do is... I am a total moron. I was supposed to use this potion, the power potion, for the boss fight, the fear potion here. Whatever, it's too late, we're doing the opposite now. At least I have a rush down played. So, let's crescendo. Yeah, sure, whatever, I'll play it. It's free, why not? Hopefully I have enough damage. I don't think I have enough damage now. That is, oh, that's 32, right? Oops, forgive me. I forgot that's 32. I was still thinking it's 16, but in fact, it is absolutely not 16. Well, I mean, it's, it's gonna be like 50 damage. I'm gonna need draw. I have 19 cards already. I need so much draw, so much more than Rushdown can provide. I need at least one draw card. And no, not Empty Mind. I don't like that. I could pick up a follow-up, but again, I need draw. Like lots and lots of draw. I'm still gonna do it though. We're on 60 HP, so we're actually really good. Uh, I'm gonna upgrade this so it is an extra 12 damage when eruptioning because let's face it that's the only thing I'm, time I'm gonna use it when I'm in a wrath form okay and wish got off that's always good to see I will play vigilance here and let's see what I can choose this exhaust this exhaust and this is actually this is an exhaust but it is 2 for 20 damage I guess I do have 5 energy. Alright, sure. Crush joints, you know what, on you. Well, they can't pick up Sands of Time, but they can pick up my only draw. Yeah, sure, whatever. Whatever, game. I'm fine, but whatever. That's 40 damage. Uh, but, I do need to take- Ah, uh, no, it means that I actually can't. Yeah, I can conclude here. But it means I'm gonna be an eruption. Sure, that, that should be fine. Too bad I can't play it now because conclude. Oh, hello there. I guess I'm using this at least. I actually can't afford to take 50. That was a lot of block. Okay. Rush down, and are we entering Vigilance? Oh, Hyper Beam turn next turn, right? There's no way I'm making it vulnerable. I do have Fear No Evil for next turn, so I guess I'm fine. Yeah, sure, just do the, do the uh, 40. 
Actually, I'm not fine because I have I had new block cards. I mean, I don't know why I said I was fine. I mean, yeah, I can play a bunch of cards, but... Oh, wait, what? Okay. I mean, at this point, do I even use Diva form? I mean, I can. You know what? Why not? Just take it. <laughs> I need draw, but I'm actually going to pick up more energy because... Ah, no, Runic Permit doesn't actually work with Establishment, which is... A disappointment. Or at least it didn't used to. Haven't seen an update recently to the game, so. Hmm. Yeah, I'll go to shops. I'll try to path through a lot of shops and hope to get some card draw. Dono and Deca. I have actually decent AoE with uh, what I'm doing. I think I just saw four rusts. Yeah, four rusts, no elites. And one guaranteed shop early. And that's about it. Actually, that's gonna be it. Well, whatever, let's go. 180 gold, hopefully I can pick up a card draw card. Hmm... I didn't have a choice here, do I? Just use this, use this, and uh... Repul no, why are you going for the Repulsor? Go for the Exploder! Alright, let's see what this gives me. You know what? Ah! Thorny fellow. That's fine. Thorny fellow shall wait. Okay. Alright, the letter opener. So Thorny fellow does only seven, so we're currently good. Actually, we're great. Ah, there's no way I'm using this though. I can still use this, which is a lot of damage. Actually, it's enough. I keep underestimating the amount of damage I actually do. <laughs> Which is actually a good thing. Uh, by a little bit. Yeah. Means my takedowns are gonna be a little bit uh, more confident. Absolutely, do you even know how much damage this thing does with strength and doubled? If we get to there, that is. I could double it for not enough. So we're not doubling it. I'm taking the. Two. I was gonna say 12, but no. Are you getting crushed jointed or are you not getting crushed jointed? Mm, am I playing Vigilance here? Uh, I can take the one. Yeah, absolutely fine. We don't need Click, we have DO4. We actually have so much energy for a boss fight that it's ridiculous. Uh, falling. And you know what? We can actually give away Diva for him, I guess. Or I could give away a D No, I don't want to give away defense. Because I'm probably going to pick up one extra attack card. I kind of need defensive options, so... Yeah, sorry Diva for him. I mean, I'd love to have you back, but... Is this going to be useful during the boss? I know the Power Potion will be in all likelihood, but... Not entirely sure about the Fear Potion. They do have artifacting, so... Well, hello there! That's lethal! That is straight up lethal. Wow. That's just like, oh, you didn't draw any cards? Any defenses? Oh, you didn't? Well, good luck! That wasn't even my fault! Wow, I normally don't get annoyed at- well, I do sometimes get a little bit annoyed, but I normally don't- I know that I, normally I did something wrong. And maybe I should have picked up one or two more defenses, but where was it? No, that character stats, what is that? Leaderboard? No, nah, leaderboard. Ah, I don't know, there was some compendium? Uh, relic click. No, where was it? I know there was like a run history thing. Oh, there it is. I normally don't go there, so... Don't know where it is. And it lagged, of course. Is this my 786 run? No, it's not, okay. <laughs> I thought it might be. Oh, not score, okay. 
I, I don't know. What could I have done better? Obtain crushed joints. Skipped flying slave. Upgrade crushed joints. Skip prey flying slave. Did I actually even get a lot of? Okay, I did skip one protect. That is true. Maybe that was my mistake. I'm not entirely sure. I'm gonna have to actually look at this and see if I could have actually picked up something that might have helped me there, but I honestly I doubt it. They just decided to attack for so much damage. All three of them at once synced up because why not? Why not let a normal fight on the floor deal 60 plus damage? Oh well. For now though. I've been the Rampant Mystic. I do hope you enjoyed this episode of Slay the Spire, and I do hope to see y'all in the next one.